Can you walk us through your process on your grooming? Yeah, sure. So I, I, I'm in front of the mirror night and day. It takes me under a minute, literally. So let me just start there. It doesn't take long at all, especially when you know uh, what you're doing and you've been kind of doing it for so long. So I go to the barber, by the way, I prefer to, but so I'll, I'll be honest about that. But there's been times where I've had to actually take the razor after the barber. So I'll tell you how I do that. So normally I'll do like a pre-shave oil right on my whole head. Uh, and then I'll use my cleanser, lather it up and I'll take the razor and I will after take the razor sometimes. I'll take the thin mask if I don't have my mask and I'll just go right into it with the hyaluronic acid, right? And then I do, uh, and, and that's going to, the serum that's going to kind of soothe and calm and bring nutrients in the skin. So that happens once in a blue moon when I tend right. to do my own head. But this, um, I still go to the barbers for this, but I touch it up and I do my face every day. So I cleanse every day. I tone every day, right? Morning and night. Uh, I definitely use a serum because that is the important piece of skincare. The right. moisturizers and stuff, great, you should use it, but the serum is the thing that's going to actually bring the change in the skin. So I'm doing that day and night, and I have a couple of different serums. One is like kind of like a multi-purpose one, anti-aging, hyperpigmentation, right. you know, the skin renewal that I was telling you about. I put that on at night, and I, I'm, I'm an eye cream guy. I've been an eye cream guy since I was um, – 16 years old. Um, I right. just love putting eye cream on. Right. Um, it helps with the hydration of the skin. Does it diminish dark circles? Um, not it, it, it diminishes it in its appearance. It doesn't diminish it in, in its actual, um, how it really shows up because that's an internal thing and it's a bloodstream thing and it's an hereditary thing. But by right. using it every day, it, my skin has, there's a nourishment in, um, to the texture of my skin. So when I put it on, right. there's, in it. So I use that, use it on my lips. And then I use um, my moisturizer and I use two different types of moisturizers. I have a gel-based moisturizer and a cream-based moisturizer. And I use a sunscreen. And so sometimes I'll take the gel, a drop of the gel, a drop of the cream, a drop of the sunscreen, and I put it onto the skin, my face. Right. That's my face. At, for this, I go right into this, like I'll take the toner, right? Uh, on a daily basis, because I don't put serum in this every day. This is more right. treatment thing. So I'll wash this with my cleanser. I'll condition my beard in the shower, right? Maybe a couple of times right. out of the week. And when I get out of the shower, I, um, I'm spraying my, high, my, my botanical cleanser, which is enriched with a lot of vitamins in it. And, uh, and then I'll take um, oil and I have a beautiful pomade and I have some of Pamela Springer's uh, Global Skin Solutions. I have some of her cream and I mix it together and I do that thing. Um, but let's go on the shaving piece. So all that. But, you know, I prime the skin with oil. Same thing I do with my head. Shave. I mean, cleanse with the lather up with, the, with my cleanser. Shave it out. A thin mask, maybe sometimes not. Straight to the hyaluronic acid. What I do for my beard as a treatment after I've shaved, because I give this a treatment too, that's when I bring my right. serums. That's when I use like a beard mask, uh, like a beard. Uh, it's a heavier conditioner where I put that on and I take a blow dryer to it and kind of give it a hot oil treatment of sorts and using good skincare. Because once you put that blow dryer on, that skin care go, goes into the skin. And so I just make sure that I'm using right. uh, those ingredients.